you all right? What's that? It, it looks like a boomerang, Mark, on your forehead. <laughs> all she could talk about was Julian. Julian's life, Julian's fiance, Julian's future home with his future wife and parents said it. But does it look like I care? No, I don't care. <laughs> Can we take this from the top? Julian's back in town. One day, she's got champagne on the brain. I'm in the wrong tax bracket for her, man. <laughs> Maybe now, but in 10, well, in 20, well, in 30 years, you'll be able to afford everything she wants and more. And if she leaves you before then, it wasn't meant to be. You know what it is? It's her values. Her values are all screwed up. If it wasn't Julian, it'd be somebody just like you. I don't need this aggravation, and I don't need her! They've only known each other for six months, and now they're getting married. <laughs> he said it was love at first sight. I bet you he didn't give her any problem about being a bougie princess like he did me. You should have seen that fur coat she had on. Whitley, we understand. Julian always wanted to be in the foreign service. We know, you already told us. <laughs> did I tell you about that engagement ring? It was a marquee cut. At least four carrots. He an engagement ring. He just me a ticket to Washington and an invitation to pay half the rent. Are you still talking about that Julian and Shelby? They're honeymooning in the Swiss Alps, Mr. Gaines. They'll be staying in a chateau once owned by Greta Garbo. <laughs> Did you know that Shelby speaks six, six languages? languages. <laughs> like that for an hour now. She's a little obsessed. A little? She doesn't know those people. Well, stop her, because I'm losing customers. Sister, listen to yourself. Can't you see you're obsessed? I am not. Oh, yes, you are. Okay, so what if I am? Because I have to sit back and watch some woman get the life that could have been mine. That should have been mine. And when I was 11 years old, I asked for a pony for my birthday. I never did get that pony. When I turned 11 and a half, I realized how to get the pony. How old are you now? 22. Well, let's just fast forward to the present. What is your problem today? I don't have any problem. I don't have time for this. My in-laws are coming over for dinner tonight, and I haven't even shopped yet. It's your job to help me. How can I help you if you won't help me help you find out what kind of help you need, and you do need help. I don't know. That's your problem, not mine. It's not anymore. This office is closed, and you are in an advanced state of denial. No, I am not. It doesn't bother me in the least that my ex-boyfriend is marrying the perfect woman and they're going off to lead a perfectly lovely life and I'm hopelessly in love with a boy who can't even tell the difference between a salad fork and a pitchfork. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we're starting to get somewhere. Come on now. <laughs> so, you say you're in love with a loser? No. Dwayne isn't a loser. He's kind and, and generous, and he has a brilliant future ahead of him. And he loves you? Very <laughs> much so. Well, then what are you wasting that time with your ex-boyfriend for? That is history. But they're living in Paris. <laughs> and you're living in a dream. Wake up! Come on, you just complained about that. Wonderful about him before it's too late. Dr. 